welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. Um, I was out and about today and I saw a farm stand and they were selling fresh farm strawberries. So I picked up two pounds and I was driving and I said, what can I make? And I came up with a perfect dessert uh, that everybody loves, kids and adults alike. We're going to, we're going to be making strawberry shortcake. Okay, so let me get started with the ingredients. It's gonna be three different items. So we're going to make the cake, which in Italian is called pan di spagna. I know in Russian it's called biscuit. Pan di spagna is basic, a basic cake that's good for all different types of, if you wanna make it a, a, a tiramisu cake or a, um, a strawberry shortcake or even decorated for a birthday cake it's your basic uh, base so we're going to be making the pan de spagna with um, I have here you're going to need six large eggs I have them in water because I just took them out of the fridge so they're in hot tap water uh, and as soon as I get started they'll be uh, room temperature like that okay that's a little trick I always share in my video then right here I have a cup and a quarter of sugar granulated sugar I have two cups of all-purpose flour just a pinch of salt absolutely no baking powder no baking soda you just need to whip those eggs so high and that's what creates the air in the cake and it's gonna be soft and spongy just perfect for this now um, let me move on with the strawberries what I'm going to do is take some of the very perfect strawberries and just wash them for decorations otherwise the rest I'm gonna slice them I'm gonna place a quarter of a cup of sugar with the uh, juice of two lemons I'm sorry by the way I'm going to use the zest of a lemon in the pan de spagna in the cake base and uh, um, I'm going to let the, the strawberry soak with the lemon juice and the sugar and it's going to release all this delicious uh, juice and that's what we're going to use to wet the cake and then right here I have two cups of heavy whipping cream I'm going to add an eighth of a cup of um, sugar and um, that's going to be the part that I'm going to be decorating I'm sorry in the strawberries I'm gonna I have a quarter cup of sugar which I'm gonna use one eighth here and one eighth for the whipping cream okay I hope I wasn't confusing now let's get started with the pan de spagna cracking my eggs and what I'm going to do next because the eggs and the sugar you'll need to whip for at least 20 minutes. It needs to really triple in size. Then I'll get, I have a eight, I think eight or nine inch, really doesn't make a big difference, a uh, spring pan that I'm going to spray uh, and also put a uh, parchment paper so it makes for easy removal later, okay? The eggs, you could tell the yolk is nice and liquidy so that means the eggs have warmed up nicely. It's the fifth, and here's the sixth egg. Okay, I usually do this just in case you have an egg that's spoiled, you don't want to put it all together, then you got to throw everything out. So, let's get the eggs in. Okay, and let's get the uh, sugar in. Okay, let's start whipping. I'm gonna put the salt in too. Okay, let's check back in 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 10 minutes have passed and it's looking great, but it still needs a little bit more. This is a perfect time not to put your oven on. And I've lined and greased my uh, eight inch spring cake pan. Okay. The eggs have tri tripled in size, they're ready. Okay, so now on to the next step. Now, the remaining ingredients we need is the lemon zest and the flour. So I'm just gonna move this out. Look at that, look, I'm going to just add the, the lemon zest and then I'm going to sift in the flour. Okay. 
from bottom to top, just gently fold in your um, flour. See that? It's going to change consistency because now you're adding the flour, but you don't want to lose the air that's in the eggs. You see all the bubbles? Putting in the last of the flour. Also, if you, I'm making a strawberry shortcake, so I find that the lemon is great um, flavor with it. But if you want to not put the lemon and put a uh, vanilla, one or two teaspoons of vanilla work great. You could even put, um, if you want to make like a tiramisu cake, you could add some uh, powder, um, espresso, some instant espresso coffee in it with just a drop or so of water uh, where you have it really nice and thick. So really the sky's the limit. This is a great sponge cake to use for many different uh, cakes. Okay, now let's put it in the... Okay, the oven is on 350, which is 180 degrees Celsius, and it's been warming up for roughly 15 minutes. Um, and then the cake is gonna go in, and I'm gonna say this should take roughly 45 to 55 minutes. Now, the one thing you don't wanna do is don't slam any doors, do not open the oven doors. Um, you don't want the cake to, um, flop while it's cooking. Middle rack, 350 oven, uh, 630, we'll check back in 45 minutes. I'm going to use some of the strawberries just to decorate the top of the strawberry shortcake. And then the rest, we're going to be slicing them. This is a nice one too. Okay, pretty much you want the top to be the same size so it has a uniform look. Now, I wanna show you what I'm going to, to do. I'm going to remove the stem of the strawberry and just slice them. Okay, and um, I'm gonna slice them all. Grab my hands a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is add the juice of a lemon and a quarter of a cup of the sugar that I put on the side before, and I'm sorry, an eighth of a cup. The other quarter of a cup, eighth of a cup, we're gonna be using it in the whipped cream. Strawberries are all cut. What I'm going to do, I'm going to zest just half of the lemon in to give it that spe special lemony flavor, but you don't want too, too much because the skin is a bit thinner, so. And you know what? I am going to add another um, lemon in. You could see already all the juices coming out of the strawberries from the sugar and from the lemon. Okay, now once the lemon is in, what I'm going to do is cover it with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge so we get everything else together and then we'll assemble the cake. Placing my whipping bowl and my whisk attachment in the fridge so when we do the whipped cream, it's nice and cold. 45 minutes have passed. Let's take a look. I'm going to just gently pull it out and try it with the knife. Oh, it feels solid all the way through the cake. The pan de España is ready. The sponge cake is ready. bowl is cold. I put in the two cups of the heavy whipping cream. I'm going to put the one eighth of a cup of the sugar right in it and I'm going to get it in the stand up mixer to whip up to a nice and creamy and thick whipped cream. Less than five 
minutes the whipped cream is ready you don't want to overbeat it because it could go back to a liquid form so see it it's nice and thick now we're going to go ahead put it in the fridge and get the cake ready and we'll grab it in about 10 minutes took the strawberries out of the fridge take a look at all that delicious uh, juice that the lemon and the sugar and the strawberries made now you could also put some limoncello in it but I'm not going to I don't want any alcohol in the cake so I'm going to leave it like that and here's to the pan to the pan de España the sponge cake let's remove the parchment paper see how beautiful okay and now I am going to slice it uh, three pieces so I'm going to slice it twice I need to really pay attention because it's going to be thin slices and I don't want to make a mistake Take a look and voila look at that right now you know why it's called a sponge cake looks just like a sponge now let's move to the next slice and here goes the third part okay let me clean up my work area and we'll be right back I'm going to put the the top part of the cake at the very bottom and the very perfect part of the bottom I'm gonna put that on top so let's start first with um, putting the juice that came out of the strawberries and just wetting the cake the sponge part of the cake you want to make sure you get the borders because that's the um, the harder part of the sponge so you want to make sure that it's very nice and moist can you put rum in this cake absolutely but I just like it like this plain with the strawberry juice I think it's just perfect piping bag I'm gonna cut the tip off and I have a, a simple star or flower tip uh, this is a uh, this is called six it's a Wilton 6b tip um, just so that you could decorate the whipped cream on it okay just simply I find I find the disposable bags quite easy instead of washing them especially for the one-time use going to continue decorating the cake what you want to do is try to get the strawberries that are pretty much the same size and what I'm doing is I'm basically just putting the tip of the strawberry since I sliced them on the way on peeking out as I don't know if you could see it so like that it makes a very beautiful design I'm gonna go all around and then uh, start decorating with the whipped cream first layer of strawberries on the first layer of the sponge cake I've put a large a tall glass with the piping bag and the tip and I'm going to um, just just put it put the bag inside it makes it easier to fill and it doesn't fall everywhere okay so I'm gonna put some of the whipped cream in You don't really need to be a, a cake decorator or a baker. This is very simple. Just um, fill it up and shake it down. And now let's decide what kind of design we're gonna do. Let's see, maybe something like this? Yeah, I really like that. Basically going to fill it the layer of the the whipped cream 
all in little rosettes, little flowers. Oops, this one came up. It's time to put the piece, the middle piece of the sponge cake. What do you think? How is it looking already? Okay, let's get the sponge cake wet. And we're going to do the same thing we did with the bottom layer, is wet the sponge cake and then place the strawberries all around the border. And now we're going to go ahead and decorate with the whipped cream again. Time for the last layer of the cake. Okay. I will also wet the top with the remainder of the strawberry juice. Now to finish up the decoration, I am going to... Um, just decorate the top, keeping in with the same style that I did the bottom pieces. Okay, just getting a little creative with these strawberries on this cake. Okay, perfect. You know what? I have a couple more. Let me just, I just want to get a certain uh, design. Okay. Now it's time to decorate, finish the decoration with the remaining whipped cream. Okay, let's just go and I'm gonna start. Oh, there's a little air inside. Okay, but here it goes. Okay, just a little bit more. I don't wanna waste any. So what do you think? Okay. Last Perfect. garnish, just a couple mint leaves on top. And it's gonna look beautiful and smell fabulous. Okay, just two leaves is good. Okay, so my um, torta alle fragole, strawberry shortcake, strawberry cake. You can use blueberries, blackberries, any type of berry. I really like the strawberry whipped cream combination with the sponge cake is just superb. Now, this cake uh, was inspired today by our good friends Massimo and Vicky. Massimo and Vicky uh, brought over this beautiful bouquet of peonies from their garden. And uh, uh, for them to come and share such beautiful flowers with us really touched my heart. And. Um, and these flowers kind of remind me of the end of summer, the beginning, I'm sorry, end of spring, beginning of summer, and so does the cake. It's a perfect spring into summer dessert. Uh, I hope you like it and I hope you will make it uh, and enjoy with your family. If you like what you see, please subscribe and um, enjoy this delicious uh, strawberry. I just wanna slowly show it to you all the way around how, how absolutely uh, gourmet it looks but it's just so simple you saw it's a very very simple cake hope you make it hope you enjoy until next time arrivederci a presto ciao ciao